Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are just north of Somerset with these beautiful countryside views of the Mendip Hills behind me to check out this stunning home. Welcome to Winscombe Court. This home is featuring 10 bedrooms, seven bathrooms, on two acres of land with 10,000 square feet of interior living space, beautifully landscaped gardens, one of the best indoor spa facilities I've seen, pool, hot tub, sauna, and a games room with a remarkable memorabilia wall, and much, much more. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner, stay up to date with all of Atmos's latest tours. Let's go. So now we're on the exterior of the home. Over my right shoulder, we've got a lovely little seating area, some sculptures again to enjoy the view of. And I like the actual design of the house. I like the stone mullion windows. They provide beautiful views of them Mendip Hills. And again, they just bring tons of natural light into the home. Lovely little water fountain feature here, really spices up the entrance, really gives it that classy look, that classy touch. To my left, we have the driveway that just sweeps round. And again, there's plenty of space for parking on this exterior of the home. Now, through here, let's go inside. Okay, so now as we're entering the home, we actually have a pedestrian entrance to my left here through this beautiful greenhouse, nice picnic table, plenty of seating, and of course, another one here behind me. Let's go check out the home. Okay, so stepping inside Winscombe Court now, straight away, it sets the tone for the rest of the house. There is lots of luxury just in this grand entrance hall. I like the fireplace with the pine cones and the two lion sculptures here to my left. Now above the fireplace, we have these two very lovely paintings. The one here on my right, I can tell it's an oil painting with the little cracks in it. Really shows you the history, really lovely picture. I like that one a lot. Now, as we make our way through the hall, on my right is the main kitchen, so maybe when dinner's ready, you can hit the bong here. But first, to my left, let's go check out what's becoming one of the most important rooms in a modern day home, the study. So into the study now, and straight away, I like the darker tones. It really gets you into that focused mindset, nice relaxed mood. To my right, we've got the Atlas, the Western Hemisphere and Eastern Hemisphere posters. Just really bring a nice feeling to the study. The main feature of the room here has got to be this historical desk with the Imperial typewriter. These started production in 1927 and they're still running almost 100 years later. Lots of cool places to relax, chill out. I've tried this couch out, very comfortable. It achieves that sinking feeling very well. I believe this would be like the perfect place to hold a meeting, get the important conversations out of the way, close the important deals. Natural light coming in, again, bring us a nice view of that front of the home and just more cool and quirky features all over the place. I like the monkey art piece. I like that very historical clock. And again, there's nice cool lighting features all around. Perfect place to get the work done, really. So now we're into the main kitchen and this really is the hub of the home. You know, they say life's created in the bedroom, but it's, well, pretty much spent in the kitchen. Beautiful place to prepare your meals. I like the island in the middle. We've got everything you need, toaster, coffee machine. We've got the sink here microwave, fridge, Bosch fridge, tucked into that alcove space. Lots of natural light getting into this kitchen area. A nice view of that front of the house. And as I make my way round to this side, this is probably the key feature of the kitchen, that cream 
Aga cooker. These are not cheap. They're always on, always ready to go. And I just like the style, I like the design. I like the checkered backdrop. Again, perfect place to prepare your meal for your family. That's the kitchen. As we make our way through here, you come into your own little breakfast bar space. I like the wooden table with the wooden benches. Probably seating for around up to 10 here. Again, more natural light coming in through the double doors here, bringing us that perfect view of that garden. And we've got the cabinetry here, all your utensils, everything that you need at reach so you don't have to nip back into the main kitchen and you can enjoy your breakfast here. Maybe on a summer morning, have that open out. Nice little airflow coming in. Now, as I make my way out of the breakfast bar, we enter this grand dining space. Christmas coming up, tree there, beautifully designed. I love this cabinet tree. We've got a pictures of Mona Lisa, some Picasso as well. I love this handcrafted wooden sink as well. I don't know if you can see that, really stylish, really nice. Now, as I make my way across, we have this beautiful grand dining table, seats up to around 15, 16 at a squeeze. Lots of natural light coming in, another view of that garden. This art piece on the wall is absolutely stunning. This was painted in 1648. I love the massive frame as well and the big mirror, chandelier hanging down, brings light to that dining space. Worth a mention, I like the coving that goes all the way around this room. Again, it's a lovely detail and just really adds a nice touch to the grand dining room. But now, let's go this way. As we leave that main dining room, we have Crocodile Alley to my left. Why is it Crocodile Alley? I like the sculptures on this piece here in the hallway. I like the octopus heads, that looks really cool. And look at the bathroom as well. We've got the crocodile head and the crocodile sculpture. Really nice, I think this is my favorite so far. Now, as we make our way back down this hallway, to my left, we've got this art piece here by JMW Turner from 1815. It's called the Dido Building. I just like it, it's, it's nice. I really like it, I like the frame as well. Chandelier really gives this hallway space the light it deserves. Now, let's go check out the living room. And now, the purple living room. The wallpaper design, again, is something to rival the bedrooms upstairs. I like this one, I like the wallpaper, really stylish, gives a unique feeling to the room. Tons of natural light, a beautiful view of that garden. As I make my way round to this side, we've got the picture TV mounted on the wall. I love the purple rug, the couches really give you that sinking feeling, lovely. I like the button style on them. And I like that sculpture up there as well. It's just, just brings a really nice feeling to this living room, really relaxing, great place to watch your favorite programs, a movie, whatever it may be. Now, as we go through this door here, we've got a lovely bathroom, check this out. I love the concrete mantelpiece. I love the oval hand basins. I like this little detail that we have around that, the light up mirror as well. There's two mantelpieces to the side of the door that are just really stylish. I like the design. Walk-in shower and toilet there. That's the bathroom for this floor. Now, as we make our way round, we come in towards a utility and laundry room. You can actually gain access to the outdoors, to that side garden, which we're gonna check out in a minute. But first, the only bedroom on the ground floor, the dove room. Now, straight away, as we step into this room, I like the darker tones, like rich berries or a, or a dark wine. We've got the open fireplace here, really brings a snug and cozy feeling to the bedroom. We've got the sofa here that obviously can be a sofa bed, more access, more people sleeping. And this dreamy four poster bed is absolutely brilliant. I like the design, I like the little details that we have all around. The chandelier beautifully hanging down, brightening up this space. We've got the ottoman at the end of the bed, I like the detail, I believe it's Japanese, really nice. And my favorite feature of the room is this changing screen. Now, why is it the dove room? As you can see, we've got all these little details of doves all over it. Really nice, perfect place to get changed, bit of privacy. Now we go through this door to check out the nature walk. Now, into this garden area, you can gain access from that dove bedroom from the ground floor or the till living room up there and it leads us out into this beautiful outdoor space. Brilliant for outdoor games, brilliant in the summer, I could imagine just all the family and friends around here just enjoying the space, maybe a bit of alcohol, whatever it may be. Now, come with me along this nature trail here. Now, making my way around this nature trail, it's very picturesque. I'm liking the plants, I'm liking this landscape that we're getting. There's many different sculptures as we make our way around, and it just feels like you're not even at your home. It feels like you're in the middle of a jungle. This is pretty much where I'd spend every morning with a coffee, 
just going for a walk to get me thoughts together. Now, as we make our way up here again, we've got the woman's sculpture and two of my favorite there, the lions with the crowns on their head. As we make our way further, oh, nearly went along this trail here. Kids, you're gonna love this bit. My nephew would really love this bit. We've got the trampoline here. You can go crazy, have fun, especially on a hot day. And as we make our way round, this is the nicest feature for the kids I've seen. Your very own built-in treehouse. We've made our way to the end of the nature trail. We're on another nice little lawn here again, perfect for entertaining guests. And as we make our way over to the stoned walkway, we've got the tennis court. Perfect if you want to have a little mini Wimbledon tournament. I like the sign as well, the win sum court, or in Nebs's case, the never win court. So coming from that tennis court now, you're in this stunning spa facility. This was recently renovated, so it used to be an outdoor pool. All this has been built in, of course, the ceiling, the changing rooms over there. But the first thing I want to mention is these windows, these doors can be opened out to create a lovely open airflow, especially on a hot summer's day, and give you that outdoor feeling still while you're in here. Custom made seat into my left, corner sofas. I like the windscomb court cushions and the different animals on them ones. Now, we have got a low ceiling over here, but not to worry. As we take a step up towards the hot tub, it's a bouncy ceiling. So if you do forget and hit your head, that's fine. No problems. And of course, where I'll be spending most of my afternoon, we've got the hot tub to my right. Walk-in shower, the rainfall shower head, and the beautiful sauna. Again, really nice, really relaxing. Really can get into a really relaxing mood in this space. To my left, we have the lovely his and hers changer rooms. Just actually take a look at that, the space in there. It's really stunning. We've got a utilities room in the middle here, just for all the games you need. It's got all the kids' equipment to have fun in that pool. Now, the pool itself, ranges from 1.2 meters to 2.4. So again, lots of fun to be had in there. We've got the step down access into that pool. I like the detail on the floor. It just really brings a lovely look to the swimming pool. And on my left, added privacy. We've got the frosted windows and a beautiful water fountain feature. Just a perfect place to relax and have a great evening, great afternoon, whatever it may be with family and friends. Leaving that spa center now, Let's check out the rooftop terrace. So you won't have to worry about maintenance too much up here. We've got the AstroTurf surface. It's really relaxing on the feet. I think I'd have a barbecue up here, family and friends round. I like the fact that it's elevated and it gives you a lovely view of the house. We've got a storage room here. It's got everything you need. Putting clubs, golf balls, lovely little seating area with the sheltered cover on the wooden porch. And the reason we've got them golf clubs, nice little putting green here to keep your swing in check and just stunning views. Take a second to really bring that in. Look at the views of Mendip Hills from here. Wow. Let's go check out the second floor. sections where you can sort of peel off for your room. So there's rooms that way, there's going to be rooms up there, there's a room here, but first we're going to check out the butterfly room. Now straight away we have a competitor for that wallpaper downstairs. I like this one and you can see why it's the butterfly room with the many different details, lots of little butterflies everywhere, really cool, really quirky. Lovely view, natural light getting into the room, double bed, butterfly pillows again just Spare bed to my left as well. So plenty of places to stay. Big mirror to my left. Now my favorite piece of art throughout the house so far is actually a drawing of the front of the home. And that just, it looks stunning. Really nice. I like that a lot. More butterfly features. We've got the butterfly photo there and this butterfly ornament here. Now this comes with its own ensuite. Toilet to my right, sink here. We've got a bathtub with a stand up shower. Nice little room, nice and secluded get a nice private night's sleep. Now, as we make our way back out of the butterfly room, back across the hallway now, to my left, there's more bedrooms down the end of this hallway, past the skylight window, and then lovely little human figurines hanging down. But first, 
the main bathroom for this floor. Now straight away, I like the tones, I like the colours, I like this piece of art here with the woman that seems to be getting drunk. We've got the closed in fireplace, I love this bathtub in the centre of the room, it's the real centre of attraction. I like how this is encased in with the massive rainfall shower, and just take a look at that, it looks absolutely humongous. Again, we get a lovely view of the front of the house with natural light into this space, sink and toilet there. Nice bathroom. Go check out the master suite for this floor. This is the B room and just absolutely stunning. There's 800 square feet of living space just in this room alone. I'm liking the different angles of windows, lots of natural lights getting in. Where's the bumblebee here underneath this little ornament piece here? Tons of natural light, beautiful views of the Mendip Hills in the distance. And I like this little dressing table we've got here and wardrobe with the big mirror for yourself to check in the morning. Now the B room comes with its own ensuite and this is absolutely stunning. You've got the walk-in shower, rainfall shower head, your toilet there, big mirror, nice sink, cabinetry to check yourself out. You've got the bumblebee sculpture there, beautiful bathtub for maybe one or two, don't get any ideas. Mona Lisa print here, this was done by Leonardo da Vinci. In 1911 there's an interesting story about this piece. Uh, one of the rivals for Da Vinci, which was Picasso, he was actually a suspect in the theft when it was robbed in 1911. It's all now back in safe hands. So now we're into what's my favourite part of the house, the games room. We've got this lovely little bar area here with the three stools, perfect for viewing the game on the professional side snooker table. The cue holders onto the wall here, in between the fireplace and the mirror, and we've got a scoreboard here to keep track of the game. Now as I make my way over to this side, this massage chair is absolutely stunning. If you can get your hands on one of them, make sure you do. I had a go yesterday, I felt like a new man. The memorabilia wall is absolutely brilliant. I don't even know where to begin. We've got a pair of Mike Tyson shorts. We've got the Muhammad Ali glove. We've got the 1966 England World Cup winning photo signed by each player. Lovely sporting memorabilia here. We've got a Maradona Argentinian shirt. We've got the Pele Brazil shirt. Iniesta's boots there. Just don't even know where to begin. Onto the wall now. F1 memorabilia with Lewis Hamilton, Tiger Woods, the golfer. We've got the three famous tennis players, Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal. Now this yellow ball was actually used by Ronnie O'Sullivan when he did that famous 147 break. The two legends, Pele and Maradona, are more fit in time with the World Cup right now. My favorite piece, the Ballon d'Or here, which was won by Messi and Ronaldo on many occasions, as we all know. Now, as I make my way round the table, we're going to check out the Till living room. We're in the living room on the first floor. I like this wooden table with the hanging light fixture down again. Lovely views of that garden. Built-in bookshelf, really stylish, really brings an intelligent look to the room. I love the lovely corner velvet sofa. Now, the tone of the room, I believe, is not this Till. I believe if I'm right, let me know in the comments. I like this colour a lot. We've got the TV mounted on the wall here. A nice little art piece there with the ace card. Now as we make our way out the room, we have a kitchen conveniently situated on this first floor. So if you're in that games room or the till living room, you can come in here, make your meal, head back into there, not having to rush all the way downstairs. Let's go upstairs and check out the bedrooms. So now as we make our way up to the second floor, we're greeted by this stairwell. I like the angel wings. I like this sort of like pots. It's like a pots sort of chandelier hanging down. Very stylish. I like the detail and design. As we make our way across the hall, we have the owl room, as you can see why I like the L shaped. I love them little bedside tables and of course the light fixture as well. But the first room we're going to check out is the peacock room. Now straight away, I admire the tones in here. You'll notice the wallpaper on that headboard part showing off the peacocks. I like this sculpture of the cheetah here. Looks like he's ready to attack. If you look at this light in here, it gives the image of a peacock with his feathers out. Really nice. I like that feature a lot. Beautiful view of the back garden here, and you will feel like royalty in this exquisite bed. I like the detail, I like the bedding, really stylish. Again, just bringing that feeling of a peacock. This comes with its own ensuite. suite. We've got the hand basin here. I like the flooring, I like the little details we have around. We've got a skylight window above, just bringing in enough, tons of natural light to this space. And we've got a walk-in shower here, rainfall shower here. Now as we make our way out this room, we have the dragonfly room. I believe this would be perfect for kids. We've got two single beds, some nice childish and playful patterns on the cabinetry as well. Now, as we step into the bathroom for this floor, 
The flooring is worth a mention. Of course, it looks wooden to you, but it's actually vinyl, so it's really tricky your feet. It's giving a really comfortable feeling on them. We've got the bathtub here, toilet, and again, the wallpaper to me, really stylish, really brings lots of life to this space. Very relaxing, and again, you're getting a lovely view of that garden area. My favorite room of the house, the Eagle Room. Now again, this is my favorite tone. I like the colors in here. You're getting natural light and a beautiful view of that back garden. I like this art piece here of alcohol. I like the different sculptures. As you can see, we've got the little eagle here. Samsung TV mounted on the wall. Humongous king size bed. I like how it kind of tucks into a little alcove. And the centerpiece of the room, just take a look at that eagle sculpture. Absolutely stunning. Winscombe Court is made for family gatherings and celebrations. Each room will strike its own conversation. Exquisite and opulent, this 250-year-old homestay seamlessly blends Victorian charm with contemporary elegance, offering a unique retreat for special celebrations, corporate events, large social or family gatherings in the heart here of the Mendips, the very essence of rural England. Contact the lovely host, Lester, with any questions you may have. And as always, the link is in the description below. Hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know what your favourite part of the home was, and subscribe now to stay up to date with all of our latest home tours. I've been Adam, we've been Atmos. Thanks for watching.